Good morning, students. Myself Rocky from Jupiter Academy. I will teach you physics. Today our topic is kinematics. We will see some introduction about kinematics and few topics. After that, we will discuss question based on that topics. So without wasting uh, time, we will start our class today. So our topic is kinematics. This is the 11th unit, second unit of 11th class. So today our topic is kinematics. There are lots of branches in physics, right? Like electromagnetism, electrostatics, rotational motion. From that one branch is your kinematics, okay? Before starting, I would like to tell you what is kinematics. So what is kinematics? Think by yourself for 10 seconds, then listen to me. Okay, you can pause video for 10 seconds and think. Okay, then you can replay. Kinematics is that branch of physics which deals with the motion of the object without considering the causes of the motion. Right? That is kinematics. Uh, listen carefully what I am focusing. I am focusing, we will study. In kinematics, we will study study of motion of object. Motion of objects right we will study motion of object without considering the without considering the causes of motion means how motion is happening which laws are ruling the motion we won't study in this we'll just study the motion of the object so i'm a saying again and again motion. So you should know first what is motion. What is motion? Have you ever thought about motion? What is motion? Okay. Listen now. What is motion? When one object you will say it is in motion. An object is said to be in motion when the object changes its position with respect to time and surrounding. That time we will say that object is in motion. Okay. See my marker. What is this uh, surrounding for this marker? You guys, one surrounding me and this board and this classroom is the surrounding. Now the object is at rest because the marker is not changing its position. Now I am moving the marker like this. Up and down, side, left side, right side. The marker changing its position with respect to its surrounding and time. That time I am saying the marker is in motion. So what is motion? An object changes its, its position with respect to, with respect to its surrounding and time. Time and surrounding is must. Okay. So like that we will study motions. Understood. Now I am going to tell you types of motion. So, so types of motion. There are three kind of motion. One dimension motion, two dimension motion, three dimension motion. I hope you should know this. This is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. And z-axis will be either out of the plane or into the plane. This is your z-axis. X and y-axis are in the same plane of the board. Okay. This is 1, 2 and 3. So what is one dimension motion? One dimension motion include either x-axis or y-axis or z-axis. I am using or remember this. Okay. Either only one axis, only y-axis or z-axis only. One dimension motion, another name is a straight line motion. Now I think so it's good. As I said, straight line motion, you must have understood. What is one dimension motion? Straight line is having only one dimension. Straight line motion or your favorite name is translatory motion. You might have seen in books translatory motion or we say translation motion also. All name is for one dimension motion only. We say 1D. Now it's easy to understand you what is two dimension. 
consist of say with me consist of x y axis or it should contain any two axis either x and y axis y and z axis try by yourself z and x axis it should contain minimum two axis so what is two dimension motion another name for two dimension motion try think for one minute not one minute 10 second think two dimension motion circular motion next planar motion etc are two dimension motion the, uh, whatever i am writing on this board my whiteboard that is also two dimension motion and whatever you are writing in your notebook by seeing my lecture that is also two dimension because you are either going x axis or you are going up and down okay for y axis nobody writing in uh, space right okay that's why i'm saying planar motion is a two dimension motion what is three dimension motion it's very simple we are living in a 3d world that is three dimension consist of x y and z all axes are here in three dimension motion bird flying in space three dimension motion i am teaching you in a three dimension motion right all are three dimension motion okay now we will see some terminology for motions like distance displacement velocity acceleration okay which are the main topic of kinematics okay then we will discuss about how to find out speed velocity with a simple method like your childhood method distance upon time is your speed now in 11th class you should know what is differentiation integration how you will deal with the distance velocity acceleration with the help of integration and differentiation like that we will study in this class so as we discuss we will learn about these topics so what is distance think for a while what is distance okay answer me you can say there also what is distance okay you say madam hai na <laughs> okay i will say distance is total path okay covered by an object that is distance okay whatever path you are covering straight line you are going curve also whatever you are covering you have to add that is your distance total path covered by an object but what is displacement displacement you should know before also from your uh, 10th class knowledge this is the or i will go to the point only displacement is the shortest shortest path between initial and initial and final position that is your displacement okay now what is the difference between distance and displacement okay now listen this is the total path everyone know this is the shortest path between initial and final position now we will see how they are varying from each other distance only will positive only always distance will be always positive displacement can be negative even displacement can be zero also okay and displacement can be positive also of course hai na okay so distance only positive fine how now i will give you some kind of path in that we will find out what is distance and displacement best example for learning distance and displacement difference is this one i am drawing here okay an object started from a went to the point b a b then c okay ab is suppose 20 meter bc is 10 meter 
and the object coming back coming back means reverse reverse the direction and reach the point d and uh, d is the midpoint of d is midpoint of ab so tell me what is the distance and displacement here try for a uh, 10 second till that i will erase my board try what is distance and displacement here initial position is a final position is b so first of all i am finding out what is distance so what i told you distance is a total path object went a to b okay then b to c after that c to d c to d so what will be the distance before me you guys find out first ab is 20 bc is 10 what is cd cd is a combination of cb plus bd if you see from c to d is a combination of B, uh, cb plus bd what is cb cb equal to bc 10 what is bd d is the midpoint of ab ab is 20 so db will be half of that 10 so it will be 20 so cd is 20 what is the distance now 20 20 10 50 meter is the distance but what about displacement what i told you displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final position what is the initial position first right initial position is a final position is b so your displacement will be a b what is ad what is ad tell me this is the ad right i am marking with red pen ad and this will be 10 now you can see displacement 10 and distance is 50 meter okay i took everything here positive 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 but here you have must care about direction also that's why i came back to final position and i saw initial and final position distance uh, shortest path that is your 10 understood now we will see velocity and acceleration what is velocity think till that i am erasing the board what is velocity before velocity one thing should come in your mind that is a speed right a speed must have come in your mind what is the speed now i am telling you just formula distance upon time is your speed brother of speed is velocity okay what is velocity displacement upon time displacement upon time now see the difference between speed and velocity okay i will teach you what is a scalar and vector but for now i am telling you directly what is the speed speed first of all is a scalar quantity because distance is also a scalar quantity distance will always positive that's why speed will also positive okay speed can be zero also speed can be positive also fine what is velocity velocity is a vector quantity because it is depending on displacement and displacement is a vector quantity now as a displacement can be negative positive zero similarly velocity also negative positive and can be zero also this is the difference between speed and velocity now we will see what is acceleration acceleration will denote it by a that will be velocity by time that will be velocity by time okay now unit of unit of speed velocity and acceleration what is the unit of speed will be distance divided by 
time velocity same distance divided by time meter per second and this will be meter per second square how what is velocity meter per second and time again that's why it's coming meter per second square fine and uh, now we will see questions based on the speed velocity uh, displacement and acceleration okay students okay so our first question is read question carefully and try it by yourself pause the video solve it then play again okay then compare our solution yours and mine a man walks on a straight road from his home to market okay a man walking from home to market fine home to market 3 km away with a speed of 6 km per hour per hour means what is the distance between home to market is 3 km first highlight the what is the given things to you the distance between market and home is 3 km second highlight is it's uh, he is walking with a speed of 6 km per hour finding the market close and he got happy and instantly turned back to his home with a speed of 9 km per hour okay fine so we can write here like this going with the speed of 6 km per hour returning with the speed of 9 km per hour fine means you going fast market to home you have to find out what is the average speed and average velocity for this three condition they have given you the time okay this question it's little bit lengthy but try it yourself it will make your calculation stronger okay so you have to find out average speed for 3 uh, 0 to 30 minutes 0 to 50 minutes and 0 to 40 minutes now here first point you should know where the man is when the time is 0 to 30 minutes everyone knows when the time is zero uh, he is in home we have to find out where is he at the time of 30 minutes so let's start our question okay how much distance between uh, market to home home to market 3 km fine he is going with the speed of 6 km per hour so you should know they are talking about times right so you should know about timing so i am saying you i am taking t1 from home to market means he is reaching in t1 time from home to market and returning back in time t2 from market to home now find out what is t1 uh, solve with me what is the formula speed equal to distance upon time this is the general formula and for this we will put speed is 6 what is the distance 3 and what is your time t1 so t1 will be 3 by 6 1 by 2 hours why hours because this is hour we did not convert it to any other so t1 is half hour what do you mean by even half hour half hour means 30 minute everyone knows ha na half hour means 30 minutes so in 30 minutes he covered the 3 km distance 3 km distance means he reached the market okay fine now we will see when at what time he is returning to home so what is the speed for returning from market to home what is the speed of course 9 km per hour distance is same only 3 km so what is the uh, what formula you will use here again same t2 will be distance upon speed t equal to distance upon speed distance is 3 and speed is 9 for returning so 1 by 3 so t2 will be 1 by 3 hours 1 by 3 hours means 20 minutes okay means 20 minutes now listen me 30 plus 20 how much 50 minutes okay going market 
in 30 minutes and coming from market in 20 minutes. Total time to reach the home is 50 minutes. Remember. Now, first point. You have to find out uh, magnitude of average speed and average velocity for 0 to 30 minutes. Now, listen me here for, for 0 to 30 minutes. For 0 to 30 minutes, minutes, motion is a straight line. Motion is a straight line. So, what is the speciality for straight line motion? In a straight line motion, distance and displacement will be equal because it is a straight line, no turning. Okay. So, for straight home to market, motion is a straight line. That's why the average speed will be equal to the average velocity. Okay. So, we will find out average speed. What is the average speed? Total distance upon total time. What is the total distance from home to market? 3 and what is the time? Half hour. Half hour means 30 minutes. Half hour means 6 kilometer per hour. So, this average speed will be equal to your average velocity also because it is a straight line motion. Now, we will see for second point, 0 to 50 minutes, 0 to 50 minutes. What is 0 to 50 minutes? Means coming to home again, right? 30 minutes, then returning 20 minutes, came home. So, see first what is average speed? Formula total distance, right? Huh? Total distance means home to market plus market to home, total distance and total time will be your 50 minutes, correct? Now, home to market distance is 3 kilometer and market to home again 3 kilometer, right? And time is instead of minute, I am converted in converting this time into hour, hour so, you have to divide it by 60. So, it will be like 6 divided by 5 by 6. So, it will come like 36 by 5. Clear? So, it will be like 5 sevens are 35.2 kilometer per hour. So, average speed will be 7.2 kilometer per hour after calculation. Think about average velocity. Think. Till that I am writing what will be average velocity? If you are able to find out average velocity, comment there and tell me before I write the answer. Comment there, I will see how many students responded before I will tell you average velocity when it returned to, when the person returned to its home. Comment fast. What will be average velocity? I am waiting. Okay. Now see average velocity what is the average velocity? Total displacement you know, divided by total time. What is the total displacement when it reach the home again? Total displacement will be 0. Because initial point is home, final point is also home. So, no distance between initial and final point, right? And what is the total time? No worries, 50 by 60. But 0 by something is 0 only, meter per second. Understood? Now we will see the third part is main part. You have to think more here. 0 to 40 minutes. 0 to 40 minutes. Listen me carefully. 0 to 50 minutes, it's returning to home. Okay? And 0 to 40 minutes, the man in between the market and home. You have to think the extra here. Okay, where is the extra time we need? Where is the extra distance and displacement we have to think here? So, till that I am cleaning this, you think and solve. 0 to 40 minutes. So, again, this is home, this is market. Okay, listen. Home to market in 30 minutes. Right? Market to home in 50 minutes. So, 40 minutes will be in between home and market, right? So, I am having information from 0 to 30 minutes. 
yes i am having information 0 to 30 minutes distance is 3 km time is half hour okay missing is i need information just for 10 minutes if i get in returning see after reaching market in 30 minutes the person is going back to the home okay so means i need extra parameters for 10 min minutes only if i get this my, i will get my answer so you have to find out how much distance he covered in returning in returning because after 30 minutes the man is returning to its in his uh, home okay how much time he uh how much distance he covered in 10 minutes okay and remember this is the return motion now tell me what is the uh, speed he is walking with while returning 9 km per hour fine okay how much time i need for 10 minutes only na so i will write 10 minutes convert minute into hour you have to divide by 60 right okay now you know the speed you know the time can you find out a distance here can you find out this can you find out distance in 10 minutes of course what is the formula speed equal to distance upon time and what is distance speed into time so let's see so distance will be x what is the speed 9 time will be 10 minutes na 10 minutes means 10 by 60 okay this much distance the object covering means 3 3 9 3 2 6 3/2 km means 1.5 km distance the object covering in this returning 10 minutes okay this is full 3 uh, 3 km 1.5 will be half of 3 km so i got my x that is i got my answer that is 1.5 km okay now question is now he is stopping here in 40 minutes okay now average speed what is the formula for average speed total distance upon total time what is the total distance here total distance home to market market to the somewhere in between the home and market suppose i am saying this is point p so final point is p so what is the distance 3 plus this 1.5 also total distance and what is the total time 40 minutes because 30 plus 10 40 minutes convert this into hour and find out this answer it will be like 4.5 divided by 2 by 3 find this answer and comment on comment there okay i will check how many of you did correct find this answer and comment what will be the average velocity what will be the average velocity think for a while what is the average velocity first thing you should know for average velocity you should think what was the initial position and what was the final position the shortest path between initial and final position is displacement so for so for average velocity you need displacement divided by total time so what is the displacement this is final point this is initial point full was 3 okay this was 1.5 so this will be your 3 minus 1.5 this is your displacement 3 minus 1.5 tell me 1.5 only divided by total time 40 by 6 so 1.5 divided by 2 by 3 find out this answer and comment okay in next class i will tell you the answer of this two you can compare your answer okay this is the most important question for understanding speed velocity average velocity and average speed thanks for your time thanks students bye bye